Hey, Audrey. Hey, Beth. How's it going? It's going. How are you? Oh my gosh, so good. I can't wait to talk to you about this book that we chose today. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. And this beer. We chose some awesome beer this week. Yes, I'm very excited. So, um, welcome to Beer by the Book. Yes, listeners, welcome. This is the podcast where we talk about beer and books. It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and we get drunk and then we regret it as we're editing. And yes. we're like, why did we drink so and much? And it's all probably a big mistake, but you get to uh, listen in on all of our regrettable uh, decisions. Yeah. And a lot of the books that we talk about um, promote those regret- regrettable decisions. That is a hard word to say. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, so I am really excited to hear about your beer, Audrey. Ooh. Uh, should we open it and like smell it first and like do a little tasting or should we talk about it? Uh, yes, to both. Um, <laughs> okay, well, that really narrows it down. <laughs> How about we uh, maybe op- talk about it and open it at the same time? Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. I got a, a can. Me too. Listen. Ooh, that one was scary. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, so my beer is uh, f- comes from Ninkasi. Brewing Company uh, in good old Eugene, Oregon. And uh, Oregon is life goals to live. Yes. Oh, uh, my gosh. This particular... Oh, sorry, what? No, I just forgot. I had a glass here and I was trying to chug it from the can because I'm so excited. You're already chugging? I know. I'm such a bad Listeners, influence on myself. This is why I can't have her as a friend. She's just my podcast buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we did not hang out outside of podcast land. Never. <laughs> Never, ever. Uh, anyways, back to my beer. I'm sorry. Uh, my beer is called Yours Truly, and it's an easy drinking ale. That was a great porridge. Hey, thank you. That's so bubbly and pretty. It is so beautiful. Uh, I'm into it. Our, my beer is light in color, very <laughs> crispy looking, uh, like cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> Ooh. I, I doubt it tastes like that, though. As a huge side note, totally off track. There's a brewery downtown that does like a weird brew every Thursday, and one of them, I shit you not was a cinnamon toast crunch um uh beer and what what brewery was that i don't remember you had to ask uh that's all right we can it's downtown it out. by um the thing over there <laughs> wow <laughs> very Cascade. helpful awesome <laughs> well, nevada maybe i don't yeah. know <laughs> well um i'll fix it in post yeah okay. that's fine <laughs> uh do you want me, should i taste it or should you talk about yours? oh smell it first Ah, so mm. crispy. It kind of looks like a normal ale. It It's so clear. Does it smell like a normal ale? Yes, but not as like poopy at the end. Poopy. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I don't really like the clean, crisp type oh, okay. of beers. Because, you don't like beer that's easy to drink? Um. Well, if, the, if they truly are easy to drink, then yes. But some of them have a weird funky taste to them. Like, oh, like Coors maybe? No, no, no. I'm thinking of well, Corona. I don't want to compare it to Coors because this is much more sophisticated. Yeah, don't compare it to Coors. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Um, but yeah, like some of them have that weird funky taste at the end. Um. Well, my beer, let's talk about mine. All right. Mine is from Wasatch Brewery. Um, which is relatively new to the beer game being from Utah. If I recall correctly, when I did my, um, very extensive research is they this brewery was made in 88 or so. Yeah. Um, and it was the first brewery in Utah. So how is that new to the game? I just feel like some breweries have been around longer. 88 seems fairly recent, but I guess I don't really know the age of all of these I know, brewers. but I also think that the 90s was last year. Exactly. That's the problem. <laughs> it's almost 30 years ago. I know. Um, yeah. 88 is 30 years ago. No, I'm saying the 90s was almost 30 years ago. I know. Yeah, oh. that's a bummer. That always bums me out. Oh like, I'm just suddenly sad and I have to drink my beer. Anyway, When I so... think of 30 years ago, I think of the 70s. Yeah, that's what's supposed to be. That's where it was. <laughs> yeah, that's I don't always even... going to be 30 years ago to me. Yeah, I I said that to uh, some family recently. Like, I'm like, you guys are just, 30 years ago, you were just teenagers. And they're like, no, we weren't. (laughs) (laughs) Um, They were way older than teenagers because I'm I'm terrible at math. Uh, Aw. Tell me more about your beer. Yeah. so What kind of beer is it? It's from Wasatch Brewery. It's called First One Down Winter Ale. Oh, sweet. Um, I'm actually a big fan of winter ales. They're a little sharper um, than normal, like darker ales. Uh Uh-huh. 
Um, they have a, usually they have like a seasony, like a seasoning to it. <laughs> um, like garlic or, uh, Laurie's. <laughs> garlic? Um, sometimes cumin. Mm, I love cumin. <laughs> um, this one has a lot of spruce in it, they said. It, they said there's a hint of mango, caramel, and spruce. So, I love mangoes and I love caramel. Don't like the taste of trees, but I do like beer. <laughs> Let's try the spruce thing. Yeah, um, let me uh, smell all it. Right. Hold on, I'm not there yet. Oh, sorry. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I guess uh, you talked about color. Mine is brown. Shocker. <laughs> uh, maybe a gold, a really dark gold. Um, and it's got the perfect head because I'm the shit. <laughs> For this beer? <laughs> yeah. I mean, and the I'm, next beer, it's going to be all foam. It's going to be a little tipsy pour. You're just like, oh, shit. It's Luckily, all- it's a podcast, so listeners can't actually see. We could technically say it's a perfect pour every time. Yeah. And they wouldn't even know. They wouldn't even know if we're drinking the right beer. (laughs) (laughs) What if we're drinking something completely different? What if we're drinking... What if we're drinking Coors Light? Ah, That's why it looks so much like Coors Light. (laughs) I think I have a floaty in mine. Mine is definitely not Coors Light, though. I hope not, because I spent more money on it than Should we do a tasting or chug it? Let's taste it. A proper tasting. You sniff it first. You wiggle your head, because that's how you sniff. (laughs) (laughs) I like mine. It's very crisp and clean. It's exactly what I was explaining it should be. And it does not have that funk at the end. So oh, I, that's good. I feel very confident in being able to chug this beer. I taste the caramel in mine. The mango, I do not. Lots of trees. Lots of trees. All the trees mm-hmm. in your beer. It is tasting a little hoppy for a, an ale, but I will say that a lot of winter ales do have more hops than what I'm used to, I guess. Interesting. Not, not that what I'm used to, but prefer. Um, can I, I forgot one more thing about my beer. Ninkasi Brewing uh, Company is named after the Sumerian goddess of beer. There's a goddess of beer? Yeah, that's what Ninkasi means. I thought and, that was me. <laughs> and, oh my god. <laughs> Got her. Oh my god. Get out of here. All right, so that is the cue for the chugging, I guess. Um, sorry, because you brewers. hate me now? No, we have to fix this. <laughs> You're not allowed to hate chug. I don't hate you. I was just, uh, it was like a bad dad joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> N- I apologize, Ninkasi goddess. Please do not spite me from Did you. Did you just call me the Ninkasi brewer? Oh, Are you? Yeah. Oh, oh, now you're the goddess? <laughs> <laughs> who is the goddess? Who is this? Bitch? We, need a, we need a Googler. We need a Ouija board her. <gasps> How fun would that be? Be Talk like, to, uh... is this you, Ninkasi? And she'd be like, no, uh... take one or give one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so. Oh, it's chug time. Yeah, it's so chug time. It's beyond chug time right now. All right. Um, Sorry, brewers. Yeah, this is the part you hate. Sorry. <laughs> Clank. <sighs> I am in a chugging mood. We did so good. I really didn't think we'd do so well. Uh, we still have a little more on both ends. <clears throat> Let's do it. Cold! <laughs> it's so cold. And here come the burps. Yep. And the gargles. So far, we've added them out pretty well. I think so. I mean, my, my friend Audrey added them out so well. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely me. So, um, good beer. Yes, and with that, uh, since we chugged our first beers, I'm going to need a new one. All right. <laughs> um, great. I have yours right here. Thank you. And <laughs> it's in a one of those uh, six pack. Um, the worst containers ever. I feel like it shakes the beer too. Why do you think they did that? Ugh, Was that to like help with recycling or help with the problems that they've had with the plastic ones? The plastic? Oh, as far oh, as like ocean I bet it does contamination. That. But this is plastic too. Yeah, but that's that's what I was saying. Is I feel like those are just as bad and they're harder to cut. I was going to suggest maybe they're cheaper than just the cardboard boxes, mm-hmm. but I don't think that's right. But so are the plastic little, yeah. like the clear plastic Well, ones. at least the cardboard box obviously isn't plastic. Man, listeners, I really hope you know <laughs> what kind of uh, containers we're talking about, because yeah, they're the like, worst. It looks like Slammers and Pogs almost. Yeah. Pogs, <laughs> yes! But 30 years ago. <laughs> 30 years ago. So In good. the 90s. All right, as we pour our second beer, I think there are some updates we need to tell y'all. Yes. Audrey, uh, would you be so kind to inform the so vulnerable listener now? About vulnerable? 
Which which update? I feel like we have at least a hundred. Oh God, I was thinking the social I'm kidding. media. We campaign. really don't. We don't have that many. <laughs> yeah, buckle in, guys. There's a lot to talk yeah. about. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to uh, point out that we got approval this week, and we are live on iTunes and Google Play and Spreaker, and there's one more, and I can't remember its name. Sorry. <laughs> it starts uh, with an S. We're live and you can find our podcast. Yeah, so uh, be sure to go and uh, uh, give us five stars. I would really appreciate it. (laughs) Um, And if you don't want to give us five stars, you can give us one, but I want to know why, and I better hear every single detail. I want to know it all. Yeah, and get mean. Also, mean. Uh, leave your full name and address so we can respond <laughs> in the manner we choose, <laughs> which might involve um, nasty letters, cyberbullying, or just coming to your house and, and. <laughs> <laughs> or, censored, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or just coming to your house and uh, 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 exactly, yeah, <laughs> uh, share a beer with you and prove that we're cool. Yeah, see how nice that was. Sure, that's all it takes Hodge. that's all it takes <laughs> that's all it takes you guys um yeah and then uh facebook instagram twitter internet uh, yeah give us a follow we really want to know who our listeners are yeah check us out i'm really excited about uh personally the website if i don't talk about that enough last episode oh my gosh all i, I did was talk about, about all of it because all you did was go on and on and on <laughs> Uh, we have a new logo too and we I'm do. super stoked thanks to our friend Megan yes she designed us the coolest little logo of all time so now we can uh, <clears throat> make a store and you guys can buy all of our shit and support us yeah <laughs> maybe one day one day uh, one day and then uh, send us a letter at uh, beerbythebook at gmail.com yeah well good yeah maybe you can tell us what's up with these uh, these can what are uh, they what are slammers. they called the slammer plastics the plastic thingies that go on to cans that is six pack at the store (laughs) um anyways that's all i gotta say about that fantastic uh so beth hey how was uh how was uh your week um well i did i made a lot of poor decisions this week audrey why um when's the last time you went day drinking oh wait i know the answer (laughs) saturday with me (laughs) Uh, apparently we do hang out oh wait yeah i mean there was a different audrey there (laughs) Um, so yeah, I went day drinking on Saturday and, uh, showed up to the brewery. It's so nice out right now, which it shouldn't be. It's supposed to be snowing and awful. It's so beautiful. Um, uh, but instead it's been very nice. And so of course we had to go day drinking as a team. Yes. <laughs> and, um, show up at noon or actually we showed up at like 1150 because we love being on time. Yes. Well, Beth loves being on time. And it was still too early. It was too early. How embarrassing is that when you go day drinking and it's too damn early for the brewery to open? Yeah. And they said, sorry, you're, you're, uh, I can't use words today. <laughs> They're like, you're going to need to come back in 10 minutes. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to stay right here and wait for my beer. Uh, but I did go somewhere. We went to get the dogs. Oh, we ran into a, a guy okay wait i'm going ahead <clears throat> anyway so i'm day drinking at peaks and pines which highly recommend it's so good it's in colorado springs it's fairly newish not yeah. not 1988 new but like no. <laughs> no it's way newer than 1988 it's like it's like 2016 i think yeah um and they are right next to the sky Sox stadium so if you ever want to watch the sky Sox game you can stay at the brewery instead <laughs> and watch the fireworks on friday yeah and they have a really good ginger beer that's there which is what we are drinking and why we got day drunk yes i love i mean day we we're just day drinking we weren't, <laughs> we weren't day drunk what i really like ginger beers um but i i, I don't like I don't like many of them at the same time, you know? Like, I like the concept of ginger beer, but this place is the only place I've found that does it right. I agree. And they have the best one. They in are addictive. The staff is amazing. Um, they have a popcorn machine. Like, such a good idea. Yeah. And it's right next to a uh, blackjack pizza. So as you're drinking your ginger beer, you can order pizza. Yeah, it's awesome. So, uh, yeah. So I got day drunk, which is super classy. Um, but I was there with you, so I, you can't also just take full responsibility for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a team effort of drunkenness. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was a lot, I mean, it wasn't dirty, sloppy drunk, I don't no. think. Um, but just the fact that I showed up way early to a brewery kind of like says a lot about myself. I think, <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of um, self-deprecation of like, why, why are you like this, Beth? <laughs> why do you show up to places early, first of all? Because that, so I have anxiety. 
what <laughs> what everyone else in this world does too oh my gosh um and showing up early i was like oh this is gonna be so much better because then i'm not gonna be late but no showing up early means you have more anxiety because you're like what if it's closed what if nobody shows up and then nobody shows up until the proper time 